Right, morning guys and girls. Uh, it's Friday morning, so I've already entered um, the daily levels. So you can just pause and let me just see. Yeah, they're all clear. You can just pause and record those and I'll enter my new levels for the day. Okay, before I start cluttering the chart with all the uh, new levels, just to see how these levels were respected. Um, so look at the previous day value area high. Yeah, so that's this morning. Uh, you can see 4 o'clock my, my time. Uh, really beautiful. And then obviously there, yeah, that was the market open. And it just uh, broke through the previous day high and then came back, found support on the value area high, went through again, and now we're hanging around the daily open. Um, maybe we'll find support on the VWAP. Uh, we'll see. I'm sure we'll see that while we're busy with this video. Right, and then slightly zoomed out here on the 30 minutes. I just want to emphasize these ranges. So that point of control there, uh, we've got a confluence there with a naked daily point of control, a previous week point of control, and a, a TPO um, point of control, a time price opportunity. So you can mark that level around 41, so 42,000 there, that little region, very important. Um, let me just switch that one off. Sorry, no. It's that one. And then remember this little range above us. See, there's the point of control. And look how we reacted off there. And two days ago, exactly off that point of control. Switch that one off. And then the, our local uh, range we're still in um, just slightly moved the local value area low and the uh, local value area high point of control stayed the same but you guys have access to this on um, on trading view you can do this yourself so I'm just going to hide that so it doesn't try and remove some of the clutter here okay and then you I so I drew this parallel channel in here, so we've already got two touch points on the upper side and one touch point at the bottom. That's the minimum requirement for a for a channel. But it's early days, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna hide that just to remove some of the clutter again. But just something you can mark on your own charts and uh, maybe just keep in the back of your head or your mind. Okay, and then we still got the single prints here at the bottom. I'll just mark, mark it for you, it's those blue, the dark blue numbers there are the top and the bottom. And I'll just mark this one for you, those dark blue numbers, the top and the bottom. And then once again, remember how I said they, there's a reaction on top of them, so we might still come and fill that today. And then that one has been, has been cleaned out so we can remove that. Right. And you can obviously see this level where we bounced off um, yesterday afternoon. Was that yesterday afternoon? Yes. There's a big confluence of levels here. So uh, once we've cleared this, um, I would want to see a retest just to confirm. And then we might aim for that level at the top there. But let's see how that unfolds. Um, let's just go on a little lower time frame. So we obviously got a this level there and then we've got some the previous week value area low previous day value area high and the top of these single prints here so there is a level there and if we clear the bottom because that's the magnet if we clear that then once again we've got a level here so there is a local point of control and a previous day point of control I think let me just previous day equilibrium that's that's an important level there okay so that's our target we aim for or one of the targets and then here's a lot of naked session point of controls down here so those are the three areas I'll be looking for um, for a reaction down there and obviously this will also be crucial down here so it looks quite busy um, but it's not there's uh, now uh, there's a 15%. Yeah, anyway, let's just see how it works. But the, the move down to there is already a very nice um, a scalp trade or a day trade. And that'll, that's 
basically my plan. So Friday, Wednesday is normally the big volatility. Friday is a little bit. So uh, let's see what the day brings. Obviously, I wait for a reaction there, and um, before I act, um, looks like the VWAP is, uh, is showing some support there. We just had a week through, and then come down, and now we looks like VWAP is holding. Right, uh, you guys enjoy the day on the charts, and uh, have a lovely weekend. But I'm sure I'll talk to you tomorrow morning again. Right, cheers.